Hello Sagittarius, welcome back to the channel y'all. How y'all doing? I hope y'all are feeling great, amazing, content, satisfied. I thank you so much for joining me Sagittarius. We are going to do this reading a little bit different y'all. I'm going to get an Archangel message to start your reading. These are going to be messages from Spirit, what you need to hear right now in love, finances, career, general messages, okay? It's going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. Take what resonates and leave the rest for someone else. Don't try to force anything. Take what resonates, y'all. What's meant for you is meant for you, okay? Don't pick up other people's crap, okay? You got two cards. We have Speak Your Truth, Archangel Gabriel. Thank you, Gabriel, for helping me to speak with integrity. Now, you know Sagittarius is going to speak their truth, right? Then we have the number three, Archangel Michael is with you now. So you got two Archangels with you. I know that's right. We have, even though you can't see it, I am active, I am actively working on this situation. I am here and helping you. So you got two Archangels on your side. Going to bat for you, Sagittarius, okay? I'm hearing the name uh, Kimberly. Emily, Kimberly, in my head right now. I don't know what that's all about. Someone could have dyed their hair red or blonde recently. Oh. Yvonne, Yvette could be relevant. Emily, Kimberly is what I keep hearing. Okay, let's see. What does Sagittarius need to hear right now? Just general messages for Sagittarius, please. We got the Justice card, Libra energy. So balance is being restored to something in your life here. Okay. Queen of Cups could have something to do with love, could have something to do with your mother, could have something to do with you as a mother, a maternal figure here. Just, just saw the Ten of Cups, which is a happy family, but... I'm not going to take that because it came up with like two other cards. Just saw the four of wands, which is a happy family. This is a family situation. I don't need any more confirmation. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. Something's turn turning around for the better. Turning around for the better for you. It feels like finances. It feels like karma. It feels like you got two karma cards here. It feels like love. It feels like it could be a combination of, of all those things. And some of you could be dealing with um, legal issues right now. <laughs> if you are, I'm hearing, just listen to your intuition and it will turn out in your favor here. This is good luck. Okay. The Wheel of Fortune is very good energy. It means you've been through some things. You've been through some changes, some cycles, but it's turning in your favor now. And we have the Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So some of you could have a love offer coming in from someone. Let's clarify, what is the justice card here for? This balance, this honesty, integrity, and truth. Someone may be confessing how they feel about you. A relationship could be turning around. This could be family. It doesn't have to be love, y'all, because we have speak your truth. And the justice card is about speaking truth. You could be confessing, be, you could be confessing that you're in love with someone, or you love someone, or mending a relationship, possibly with a maternal figure, okay? So we have the magician. Yes, y'all are making something happen. You're manifesting something here. I feel like it's healing. I feel a lot of healing energy. Just saw the lovers at the bottom of the deck. A Gemini or a Virgo could be. You could be connected to. Yeah, we have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Some type of family dynamic here that's being healed. So if you're in conflict with someone in your family, you need to speak your truth to them. But do it in love. Because it says the situation is being worked on by your archangel. Okay, so there's some healing coming in. Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. You're getting everything that you want. Bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Pentacles. Money is amazing for you, okay? Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Pisces, energy here. Let me not move these. Just move these over. What's going on in your career and finances? We can find answers for Sagittarius.
Let's see here. Wow, fulfillment. You could be closing out a cycle somewhere too. You might be closing out one thing, moving some to, into something else. A Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, or Taurus could be involved in some capacity. This is completion. The closing of a cycle in evolution. This is going to the next level. You, you've mastered all, the, you know, you mastered level one, you're going to, to level two. You got the nine of cups coming out again in your career and finances. You are about to be living your wish fulfillment. Both of these are about wish fulfillment, okay? So you, you're going to be absolutely great here. Then you got the king of cups. Queen and king of cups. Some of y'all have a soulmate coming in. It could even be in business with the soulmate. Could be counselors, could be politicians, could be. You could just be an authority figure where you are in charge of giving advice, mentoring, um, healing. It could be anything. Let's clarify. Bottom of the deck, we have the four swords. I feel like something is definitely coming to completion for you. And you, you are happy about it, like whatever it is. Five of Swords. For some of you, it's a conflict, and I feel like it's with a family member. Could be an Aquarius, or it could be a spouse. It could be a, a partner. Page of Swords clarifying the uh, Nine of Cups. You are strategically planning. You're strategizing. You're devising your plan. You're you're doing your research right now on how to get your wish fulfillment. We have the Two of Pentacles. Decision making, planning. You're doing a lot of planning here. And look at this. You're going to have so many opportunities coming your way. You're not going to know which one to choose. Eight of Wands could be traveling. You got two traveling cards here. Also, the world is a traveling card. You could be getting a new car. You could be traveling. Okay. Let's see. What's going on in love for Sagittarius? We got the judgment, making a final decision about something. We got the four swords coming in again. Two Libra cards. We got the Four of Cups. Cancer energy. And we got the Four of Pentacles. Some of y'all are definitely like, you know what? Something I was holding on to. I'm making a decision to let it go. I've had my awakening because I've taken my break. And I'm no longer interested in it. It just doesn't, doesn't do it for me anymore. What this? Why, why, why? Can I shuffle? Okay, what is the... I just saw the three of swords. Someone could have broken your heart. But let's see. What's the judgment about? We did have some, some uh, pregnancy stuff with you a couple weeks ago. If somebody said they was pregnant by you. Or if somebody was pregnant, but they didn't know who, who the daddy was. It was some it was some controversy. Yeah. Knight of Cups. Could be a Scorpio. You could have overgiven to someone. You're making a decision to stop doing that. <laughs> What's the four of swords? So you pulled your energy back. Ace of Cups. I feel you avoiding this person. I feel you not wanting to give to this person, but you also can have somebody else watching. You look at that eye right there. Well, all that emotion and cup. The cups represent emotion and feelings. So somebody is watching you. Could be Cancer Pisces or Scorpio. Could be a Libra. And then we have the lovers. Yeah. Some of you have a choice you're going to have to make. And I feel like you're you're over the past person and a new person is coming in for you. And whoever this person is, they're going to be willing to fight for you. So your old person going to have something on their hands. Because look, they holding on and fighting for you. Don't send your messages, Sagittarius. I hope you have enjoyed this reading. Please do not hesitate to hit that like button. I want you to take, take that like button and act like it's your worst enemy. I want you to just punch the crap out of that like button, okay? Just slap it. Just one time, though. Don't hit it more than once. Okay? Just one time. <laughs> I will see you all tomorrow with a Valentine's message. Four messages from the person on your mind tomorrow for Valentine's Day. I'm going to pull four, read them, and they're just going to be short form videos. So, literally, they're going to be a short that I post tomorrow. So, be looking out for that. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And I'll be talking to you all tomorrow. Peace. Sagittarius.